Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is work and energy, kinetic and potential energy. As we know, any any moving object has kinetic energy. So Ke, we use Ke to represent kinetic energy equal 1 over 2 mv squared. So it means kinetic energy is directly proportional to mass and proportional to the square of the speed, v squared, speed, square of the speed. So because v squared, so v is velocity. But after square, there's no negative or positive, always positive. That's why we say the kinetic energy is scalar, scalar quantity, so only magnitude, no direction. So unit of joules had the same unit with work. So let's see an example. Find the kinetic energy of a 1200 kilogram car traveling at a speed of 15 meters per second. So 1200 kilogram is mass. A speed of 15 meters per second is speed. So for formula we have Ke equals to 1 over 2 m v squared. So Ke equals to 1 over 2 multiply m, which is 1200 kilogram. Make sure this is a kilogram. We need a kilogram. It you given gram, you need to convert to kilogram. Speed is 15 meter per second. If you given the speed is mile per hour or kilometer per hour, you need to convert to meter per second. So calculate the kinetic energy equals, we need to calculate to get the answer. Okay. We have 1 over 2 multiply 1200, half of 1200, which is 600. We have 600, we multiply 15 square, right? This is a 15 meter per second because square, we need to put the square. Yeah, be careful. Okay, now we have answer is. 135,000 joules. So 135,000 135,000 joules. Then we can write scientific notation. We express as 1.35 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 exponent joules. Next is talking about potential energy. The potential energy, PE, so potential energy, PE equals MGH. It is directly proportional to mass and relative height of the reference surface. The H is the height from the reference surface and the gravitational acceleration of planet G. So on Earth, G equals 9.8 meter per second square. And also potential energy is a scalar quantity and with unit of joules. Okay, let's see another example. 
how to calculate potential energy. A 82.5 kilogram skier stands on the top of 15 meter high slope above the ground. So we given the mass is 82.5 skier. Stand on the top of 15 meter high slope above the ground. So the ground is the reference surface above the ground with 15 meter high so h equals 15 meter find his gravitational potential energy at that point so follow the formula we have pe equals m g h equals to m equals 82.5 kilogram already kilogram okay so multiply g on the earth is 9.8 meter per second square if it's not talking about earth then mostly definitely they will tell you on the moon something else okay h equals 15 meter so make sure before you plug number into the formula make sure mass is kilogram g is meter per second square h is meter then we can calculate the potential energy calculator again so 82.5 multiply 9.8 multiply h is 15 we got 121,000 no 12,127.5 so the answer is 12,000 one twenty seven point five joules. So if we write scientific notation and follow three second digit we write one point two one times ten to the one from this point one two three four. So four exponent joules. So thank you very much. So if you still have question, you can contact with Learning Assistance Center in Ron Hamilton at the three six three two 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 five one.